Hello and welcome to Campus News. I'm Henry Grattan. And I'm Trinity Collage. The headlines this evening. Controversy over new aviation course. DCU brings in extreme measures to combat absenteeism. A new revolutionary service arrives on campus. And drowning in a sea of exams. But first. A recent programme board meeting has approved the new module for communication studies on signing onto the dole. The new module, CM333, entitled Introduction to Unemployment, has been introduced as a five credit module for all third year communication studies students. Terence Larkin reports. In a move which is said to prepare students for life after CS, the programmes board for BA of Communications has created a new five credit module for only final year students. The module is designed to teach students a range of skills including how to deal with moving back into the family home, a comprehensive study into daytime TV scheduling and how to start a blog. Students are assessed by a practical exam involving walking to and from the nearest Dole office and a written exam on how to sign onto the live registry. Recent CS graduates who we found lurking around campus with literally nothing else to do have welcomed the introduction of the module. This sort of practical information that's very important for CS students. Can't stress how important it is. I mean, doing nothing comes with its challenges as well. Just this morning I had to decide between staying at home and watching the Jeremy Cow show or coming to DCU and looking for free pizza. He says morning, but really he doesn't get up until 2 p.m. Terence Larkin, Campus News. Back to you in the studio. In other news, communication students are up in arms after being informed by their lecturers that their annual essay will be hiked from 1,500 words to a staggering 1,700 words. After the introduction of the new Aviation Management course in Dublin City University in 2009, campus executives have decided to go ahead with the plans to build a simulated aeroplane in Albert College Park. This will mean the current playground will be demolished and a further €300 Euro will be added to students' registration fees. We asked students what they made of this decision. I actually do think it's a good idea. I know like we have to pay more fees, but I think it's good and it will attract more people to this college as well, which is great. Well, I actually don't really want to get into it because I get very angry and um, that's how I really feel. Because I have to rush. I'm really, I'd love to talk more and say really how I feel from the heart, but um, I think it's not really for air at the moment. 25 million for a simulated airplane. What, what would they spend that for? Like, what could you buy with that? You could buy a new college, like. I don't understand why you would spend that on a fake airplane. You could buy a real plane. Simulated airplanes. You must be joking me. This is the future. It is. It really is. Stop it now. A new shuttle bus service is to be introduced on DCU campus. The shuttle bus will run from the library to the canteen and will run every 20 minutes. The service is in response to an increase in the number of students collapsing on the five-minute walk. The DCU governing body have not yet decided how the, sh how the shuttle bus should be funded, but a student contribution has not been ruled out. We asked students for their reaction. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Really? Yeah, that, that sounds like extreme laziness. I mean, it's not that much of a walk. Um, segways, on the other hand, would be a cool idea if you get around one. That would be good. So what about the sport? If, yeah, if we get everything by technology, so <laughs> what will happen for our body? Maybe the decay, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So I don't uh, Would you use agree the with the, this plan. You know, we should encourage people to do sport. Yeah, you know, and walk. this nice sport to work, to communicate with other people. Yeah. You know, it's the best thing ever. Uh, I'm surprised it took so long to even get it. Um, as you can hear, I have a really bad cold because I'm walking all the way from canteen over to the library all this time. It's not good for my health, it's not good for anyone's health. We should all be as lazy as possible, just sit in these comfy new shuttle buses and just, you know, enjoy life. On average, how long does it take you to get to the library? On a good day, half an hour. I mean, there's so many obstacles to get through as well. I mean, you're walking past the hall, but you go to the spire and you say, oh, you're tempting yourself to get a drink, that kind of stuff. You won't get those temptations when you're on a bus. Do you think students should have to pay for the service or do you think it should be free? Oh, free, absolutely. Um, I mean, we're paying over two grand for our, our tuition fees um, this year. So definitely uh, it should be completely free and it should be air conditioned as well. Um, or even like on cold days like this, it should be nice and warm. Maybe have like a, a fire in the bus or something, like a, a, ho a house night fire or something. To keep, something to keep us warm. 
Of course. Thank you very much. Lazy pricks. My God. Nursing students are up in arms over recent measures to combat absenteeism. In reaction to decreasing attendance, students are being asked to provide urine samples upon entering lectures. The, the urine is then DNA tested to verify their identity. Don Danbury has more. Behind me here is the School of Nursing in DCU, where this flagship scheme is being launched. Students will be asked to urinate in a receptacle placed at the door of each classroom, and at precisely five minutes after the beginning of each class, their absence or presence will be noted in a top secret database somewhere on campus. We asked some students earlier how they felt about this latest incursion into their privacy. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. yeah, That's how they do things over here? <laughs> would they do that? No, I'm from America. We would never have thought of that. That's pretty creative, actually, but still, that's pretty ridiculous at the same time. <laughs> While no one is arguing that the issue of student absenteeism is one to be swept under the carpet, some students feel that these latest measures are simply taking the piss. This is Don Danbury, Campus News. Can we get two lashes and one almond slice? That's a girl. Ginger nut biscuit. Swimmers and health enthusiasts in DCU have been left stunned by the examination board's decision to drain the university swimming pool. Kathy Millish is on the sports ground with more in the story. Over to you, Kathy. Due to lack of space for students during exam time, the DCU Examination Board of Directors has decided to drain the swimming pool in order to fit a further 78 desks. However, the DCU Health and Safety Board feels that this is unhygienic and dangerous for students and supervisors alike. We were just wondering if you'd heard about the recent plans to drain the swimming pool to fit in a further 78 desks to facilitate students over the exam period. I haven't heard about it. No. What do you think about it? It's grand. Fine idea. It's a good idea, yeah. Yeah, why not? Do you think there'll be any health and safety risks? Don't, don't no. see any. It'll be grand. Oh, cool. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, it is a good idea. Uh, and I'll tell you why. Simply because uh, the uh, County Council in Dublin has had water restrictions. So um, they've switched off the water for the past week. So it's better if, if we drain the pool out, we can reserve water. And then in the meantime, we can make room for students uh, in exams, which I, I think is brilliant. So. Right. so we're killing the two boards with one stone. While plans have yet to be finalised, it certainly looks as if for these exams, students will be thrown in the deep end. This is Cathy Millish. Back to you in the studio. Connor, where's my latte? I can't do the show without a latte. I wanted two biscuits I can't do the show like ten latte. minutes ago. I can't do the show without a latte. Fatso! Biscuits! Jesus. Latte. It's so fucking hard, is it? Amateurs. Amateurs. All they have to do is get coffee. We have to do the nudes, you know? Slight difference. God. Now we head over to Lola Fontaine with the weather on campus. Thanks, Trinity. Right, now to the weather. Well, there's definitely a huge cold front sweeping in over the hub uh, as the president of DC was recently fired, so it's a bit frosty around there. Might want to watch it. Now we have the library area. There's a huge depression forming down on that one uh, as it's exam season. Now, we have campus accommodation here where a huge tornado ripped through the Larkfield dormitories and there's debris cheese scattered everywhere, so I might want to watch that one. Uh, but things are looking very bright in the street, mainly due to the glass roof, but you know, a lot of people like that. And uh, oh, yes, devastation in the gym as a tsunami hit uh, because of the uh, obese young swimmers. So, don't really go in there. Is that okay? So it's going to be a wet one, Lola. That's all we have for now. I've been Henry Gratton. And I've been Trinity Collage. And you've been watching Campus News. Join us tonight at 6pm for the main headlines. Good afternoon. That was fun. <laughs>